Hello everyone and welcome to episode 52 of Silver's Cocktail Course. After last week's episode with the alchemy of Cataclysm, today I want to go to Mists of Pandaria, more specific to the art of cooking there. The Pandaren have a vast variety of cooking styles. One of them is the way of the brew and in that way you can find a recipe called the banana infused rum. And this will be my recipe, which will be closest to the in-game original of all the recipes I have done so far. Because I will stay very, very close to those ingredients, as you can see here. We have Telabin bananas. Bananas is easy, we have that. We have volatile rum, no problem either. Then we have witch berries. They do exist in reality, but those berries called witch berries are poisonous, so we should not use them. Instead, I will go for cranberries. They look quite similar to witch berries. Then we have the silkworm pupa, and I have absolutely no idea what you want to do with that in a drink, so I will skip it and use something else, which makes way more sense in this recipe. And then we have black pepper as last ingredient. Well, pepper doesn't mix so well with alcohol and other liquids, so I will go for Tabasco hot sauce instead, which mixes way better than pepper. So, that's my ingredient list. Now we will have a look on how we mix all this together and we do it like this. We start with our shaker bottom and some ice cubes. Oops, a little bit too much force. Then our first ingredient, which is banana syrup. We use 2 cl, two thirds of an ounce of it. The next ingredient is the replacement for the silkworm pupa. It's citric solution. We use 0.5 cl or one sixth of an ounce of it. I will put a link in the video description on how to make this solution. And then we have the cranberries, 5 cl, one and two thirds of an ounce of it into the shaker. Next we have dark rum, 2 cl, 2 thirds of an ounce of it. This one should be around 37 to 40% alcohol by volume, so not really volatile, but we'll come to that later. And then 2 to 3 drops of Tabasco, depending on your personal preferences. And that's everything we want to shake, so close the shaker and start shaking. After about 10 seconds, the drink is cooled enough, so slap the shaker to open it. And then we use our strainer to strain the drink into our glass, which means of course the ice cubes in the shaker are not used any further. We'll use a rocks glass for this drink. As I said before, the rum would not qualify as volatile so far, so we will use another one, and this time our rum has a little bit more alcohol, 70% ABV or more, we will add just a dash to the top of our drink. And then we add some decoration, a slice of lime will do fine for this drink. And that is my recipe for the banana infused rum. As always you can find the recipe in the video description and also in a few moments in the still summary. And that's it already from my side for today. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video if you want to. And until then, goodbye and cheers. I venture back to the 